So you were talking about uh, your sponsor's wife. What was her name? Barbara. Barbara. Barbara Blake. All right. Go on. And um, Holland took his wife to see a musical was very popular then, named me Hair. <clears throat> and uh, I was very tired, didn't go with them, so I stayed inside to stay home. I used to be like, they, you know, cook for them in the apartment, like uh, stay, you know, clean them, keep the place nice. And uh, they went to, the, to see Hair, the musical on Broadway. I stay home. While I was home, I turned TV on to watch the movie. And the movie, they came on, there was a movie that I saw in Brazil called Black Orpheus, which the first black Brazilian film. I remember watching it back then. I was a senior well, in high school. Yeah, I was. First time I saw, I, I believe I was like 12 years old when I saw the movie. And see for the second time in New York City, it brought tears to my eyes when I watched this. And I said, "My wife, I have to leave Brazil to come here in America." And I watched the carnival, people dancing, people on the train, play music. So I was so inspired. I want to do some paintings based on black orpheus, but I didn't. I didn't have any canvas. I didn't have any 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 drawn paper. All I had was napkins on the table. So I decided to do the whole kind of scenery of the black ops on the napkin with uh, the ink from the pen, from the coffee dye and the wine dye and the, and the pen. I did a napkin. I did a whole bunch, I left on the table. And after watch the movie, I did this with drawings, I went back to sleep. Going early in the you know, like two o'clock in the morning, first break, wake me up. I said, Did you do those paintings on top of my on the table? I was very nervous. I thought I left dyes on the tablecloth. Professor Break, break was very peculiar about his things. He didn't want nothing to get damaged. I was very nervous. Yes, it was me. And he was excited. Say, Barbara, open a bottle of champagne. We have an artist in my house. I didn't know that. He was so excited. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my God, this, I gotta do a show for you. So he found a gallery in the village in 1969 was my first open reception. It was a group show. I was the young artist in that group. Everybody was older than me, 40, 50, 60, maybe 80 years old. And Professor Brick got me a suit and tie to me to dress real sharp. Guess what? I didn't know how to even nut on a tie. I go like this to the right, to the left. Damn, I can't put this tie together. <laughs> and I was so upset. So I put it, I put the suit on and I didn't put it tight. Because back in the days, everybody dressed sharp for the open reception. He gave me a nice suit and everything. And uh, I was so nervous, Carlo. I didn't know what to do. I went there with these people in the gallery and I'm afraid what they're gonna ask me. My English was not that good then. What the, the, I was so out of control. I got, couldn't control myself being so nervous. And uh, I see Professor Brick come outside looking for me. What the hell is this guy? I said, I, mean, I didn't go there. He was very nervous. I went across the street, there was a bar, and I started have a few drinks coming down, and uh, I think I got a little drunk. <laughs> and he saw me, Amani, what the hell have you been? I've been waiting for you, trying to, to introduce you to the people. You embarrass me. You embarrass me because I, I felt like a fool. Talk about your art, you're not there. This is brought to you by Africana Art. 